I have a massive box of new material. I'm very excited to go through, but I'm also feeling very overwhelmed. I still have all these pinup girls to cut out from the biggest piece that I did. So I, I have so many of those. I was kind of picturing this little project with a bunch of boxes and kittens. I don't know. And then I have all of these piles of pieces that are half made right now. And I even have piles underneath my desk. It's just, it's out of control. So we just got to sit down and create today. Also, the new material in the box is not the only new material I've gotten. I've also gotten these, which are super, super cool. At my art show, I met a Russian man who said he had a collection of old propaganda posters from Russia uh, that he had taken before he left the country, and he gave them all to me, which was super, super amazing. And just hearing all his stories was like incredible. Yeah, these are crazy, and he kind of took me through what all of them meant. I've had these scraps for a long time. You can probably recognize this is from Camouflage the Men, the Sailors, and this one's for the asparagus chains, and there's some other pieces in here, and I thought that they would make a really interesting piece. Since I'm trying to clean up the studio, it's now or never, so let's give it a shot. This one I did super quickly, but I think it has a lot to say and it's done. I think these are kind of cool together too. They have the same writing obviously in that red, kind of like a little mini series. And I think that this having a woman and this having one, and then these kind of cut out men, kind of something interesting there. This isn't my best work ever, but it was my quickest work probably for two pieces. So very happy with those. This is also a super quick one that I've been trying to do. And so why don't we just make it really fast? I think as to what I want to cut out, I think I'll do like her legs here and her, and then maybe just cut out this chair for the sake of it for now, just cause the paw overlaps. I just want to see where that goes. In terms of where this was going, I was kind of picturing cutting out these rocks and like sliding this in, but I'm worried that her leg is gonna get cut off too much. I think I might as well try it. Maybe this carpet will kind of come out of that. And then I wanted the bear's face like popping out of it still. And I wanted her like cigarette to kind of look like it's almost like the cause of it. And so this chair is definitely gonna come out.
I almost want the chin to like fit into this mountain, so I think I'm gonna cut that out fully so that it'll like pop on top of it. I've also had this on my desk for like a year. I don't even know how it stayed together, but I was thinking that I could glue it to this block and resin it. So maybe let's go ahead and just cut it out like that. And then I can do the next part later. And just a little tip, if you're working with old magazines and it has black paper, I think it's this way for everywhere, your grubby little fingers are going to show like forever basically if you touch it, so just be very careful. Sometimes you can wipe them away, but it's unfortunately just how it is. And then, oh my goodness, I have not cleaned up Fabrilage yet. For those of you who are new here, that is from February. So this is crazy, I definitely need to do it. Again, more birds. I told you it's like some weird obsession that I'm not really sure about. I had pulled this out for the prompt wings and I still think there's something pretty funny here. So I think the corn with this like sheet around it could be something really funny. Something I've always wanted to do and still kind of want to do is a self portrait. So the prompt was me and I was too sick to do it that time. But this is a photo of me that my dad used in a cyanotype, which is like a negative um, kind of photo processing using the sun and it comes out blue. This is a photo of me in the gallery, so it's kind of funny. It's a photo of me in the gallery, a photo of a photo of a photo, right? It's like photoception. So I wonder if I could like cut this out, add something fun to it. Maybe I could play around with that as like a fun like profile photo or something. I still really like a lot of these images too, even without the prompts. So, I mean, there might be something here that I try. I love this, I think that's super cool. Um, and the boats are super pretty as well. I just feel like these are waiting to be collaged, so I'm gonna keep them as well. This pile is tough too, because I had such a vivid vision for what I wanted to make it. I had this wolf, and I had like this face with multiple people. It's kind of funny, kind of creepy. Found this, and then I found this like border, and it was supposed to be for Frankenstein, so I was trying to make it kind of creepy and gross. So I wonder if I can like cut this out and then kind of make this like jumbled face thing in the middle of it. Maybe I should fulfill my want to make a Frankenstein collage. Does anyone else just constantly lose their scissors when they're collaging? I can't find them. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is extremely ugly <laughs> as I kind of expected it and it's creepy and gross, so. Yeah, I guess I'll just finish it. I'm never gonna love this piece, but I always wanted to make it. It's pretty funny because I feel like last week we were making something that I've wanted to make for a very long time and it was pretty. And today we are making something that I've wanted to make for a long time that is extremely ugly. So hope I'm not getting judged for this one, but there's some things that as artists, we just feel like we need to finish. This is one of them. I'm never gonna look at this again, but I also don't wanna just like throw out the pages and not have created it, if that makes sense. I also hope that like Scott Thompson 
doesn't come for me because I've made him so ugly. I've been trying to work on just showing you everything that I make versus the things that I like. So here's uh, a pretty ugly piece. I hope you like it. <laughs> The one thing about this that I actually really do like is that it's coming out of the frame. He's almost like jumping out like he's coming out of the picture. I think that's kind of spooky and fun. And I think this could use a cool background, but it's fine. I'm good with what it is for now. This is definitely the cleanest I've seen my space since the beginning of the year. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of a weird video, but now we're ready to jump right into a big project next week.